Hey guys, it's Leverdo one here, and today we are going to be playing some Universe Sandbox 2. And what we're going to do today is we're going to create a solar system with a habitable moon around a gas giant. In fact, we ought to do more with gas giants. We never seem to do stuff with that. Anyways, random known star. We'll probably rename it. Let's see. Um, me off. Let's rename him Zenzib Nawa. Alright, that's a great name for sure. Yeah. Alright, now let's increase the size of it a bit. I want it to be a bit of a larger star. Uh, orbits, grid, zone. Okay, so what I'm imagining is. Hmm, this is interesting. Alright, so what I'm imagining is that we'll add a random uh, gas giant here. So, no, what? No, I don't want the larger things. Please reduce that. Less. Thank you. Now let's remove this. I'm going to check out this planet, Delian. Alright, of course, they always make it. This. They always do it wrong, so. Uh, they first off they make gap they call this a gas plant, but it's only eight earths of mass. Mass we're gonna make you uh how about four hundred and seventy earths. Materials, hydrogen. hundred percent hydrogen. No water. Temperature doesn't matter. Motion. Obliquity is a but, uh, why not? 19 degree obliquity. Alright, so this is uh, towards the edge of the habitable zone, but that's not what's important. Alright. So let's, uh, actually, uh, edit. Right, so the axial tilt is this way. So. Uh, this is where we'll put our planet. Right here. So, uh, what I do want to do is view... Actually add... Let's add a ring system to this. Oh, come on. Ring 2 to 4 radii. There we go. Actually, this plant is kind of far away. Let's get rid of you. So, how I think that this planet would work is there would be um, a first. Let me add the planet, but then I'll explain because I can only focus on like two tasks at a time because I'm dumb. All right, there we go. Now that we put down this new planet, literally the same place. I might forget it. Actually, yeah. Let's get, let's try that again. Take three. Let's put you down. I just don't want to put it too close that so it completely there we go I think that's fine so you what we're going to do is we are going to so what is this guy's obliquity again 19.8 degrees so so we're going to put your inclination at 0 0.198 19.8, sorry. 19.8 degrees inclination, right ascension, right, uh, 180. Alright, does that give us right, uh, 183? Almost 185, I think. Let's get this perfect. 185. No, we need 190. Alright, that looks dead on. So now we have that moon. And so what I'm thinking is this moon, uh, we would have, would be tidally locked. Towards its, 
towards its planet, so it would it wouldn't always experience a day, but you know. Alright, atmosphere this planet's obviously going to need an atmosphere. I think the pressure would be around 0 0.67 uh, atmospheres. Alright, so now what we're going to do is uh, low elevation, we're going to make you the sandy color we usually use as a base. We're going to make you the green color we usually use for life, and then high elevation will make you white. Temperature, effective temperature. Right, the greenhouse effect is good. Basic. Uh, we will need to add. Huh, they. they f I just realized they removed organics. Ha! So, all you annoying people telling me to put organics can't tell me anymore because there isn't any. Ha ha! Alright. Magnetosphere. Uh, we'll put you at zero point. Orbits back. So now let's put a temperature. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, water. You need to put water on it. I like how it looks a lot bluer here. So I'm thinking this planet would be made up of a series of and be made up with a series of islands with a few larger maybe continent like things this is actually basic so yeah there if, looking up at the corner you see there are a few continents they aren't substantial but they're something like this thing actually uh display mode let's put you at hologram But yeah, there's a. I. Actually, surface features. Alright, this is interesting. Alright, that's not what we're looking for. Uh, elevation. Alright, that gives us a better view of this. So here is the. One, this is would be the. Like, one continent there is. If you even call that a continent, because it's split up in a lot of places, but. Default. There we go. Now, materials. Hmm. Alright, so we do have a magnetosphere, right? Alright, so... Temperature... I think we should add another moon that maybe will interact with that moon tidally. So maybe another rocky planet out like closer, like out there. This moon, well, let's at least not have it ugly, but I think it, it won't be habitable. Just because we probably do too many of those habitable planets, but you know. I just don't want it to be ugly like it was before. Alright, so now, view, motion. Let's add some ice on the surface, though. It could be an icy planet. Actually, let's completely code it. There you go, that looks good. Alright, so now, motion. Right ascension, or is that? Um, inc inclination, eccentricity, none. Inclination, 19.8. Right ascension, 190. Right, it's 
actually kind of off alignment. Let's, let's try 192. Sorry right, guys, I'm just probably really bothersome, but whatever. This will make 190 is 191. There we go. Now they align pretty much perfectly. So that's better. Oh yeah, and let's also add one little friendly asteroid around here. Whee! Yep! Actually, let's add a few. have some tidal heating going on this moon actually so how about so yeah it's warming up pretty nicely actually let's change the mid elevation color to a darker green and then High elevation could be light green. Actually, mid elevation will make sandy. Uh, we can have it like like that. That's nice. Temperature. So yeah, this is really nice looking. What is this? Am I? Was I seeing collisions with that, or was that just my imagination? Wow, this asteroid sure has some high quality video. Hmm, what's with you? Why aren't why are you so out of it? Get back in your spot. Uh, basic oh, maybe we should remove reduce your mass. There we go, now you won't be, like, killing the other moon. Oh, yeah. Over time, these two moons would have a bit of a gravitational effect on each other. I, mean, I bet the eccentricity of this is getting stretched out due to this guy here. Well, that's not what I wanted exactly, but you know, you went screw you, little moon, go away. Let's change your eccentricity back, and let's add. Let's make our random. Let's just add a random. Really far out because it's weird. 
you are all right all right are you water yet i want you to be water not ice i don't like ice yeah the earth similarity is going up a lot I mean, it's the title, uh, the tidally locked feature with it being tidally locked to its, uh, to the home, to its orbit or parent or whatever you call it. gas giant. So because it's tidally locked to the gas giant, it's, um, and yet it's also going around it's basically like uh, it's rotating on its own. You can't tell the difference very well. So you could you couldn't tell the difference just by looking at this and seeing whether it's a, has an just an 18 degree obliquity. All right? No, pretending you don't see the gas plant back there and everything else. You'd think that it was just a. Uh, you think that was just a plant planet at an 18 degree obliquity because it's uh they basically counteracts each other so we can take a look at its ro basically its rotational period uh concerning the star the day and night cycle concerning the star by looking at its rotational period and its orbital period if we can find its orbital if orbital period is 18 days So basic, so yeah, it's, I have no idea what I'm doing. So maybe if you divide the orbital period by the rotational period or something, you, I don't know, I'm tired, so I can't think right now. Earth similarity is good. Temperature going up. Let's, let's fast forward a bit more. I like how it's in a cycle. Looks like it'll stabilize around here. Alright, we're going to need to reduce the albedo a bit to make up for the fact that it's orbiting. So yeah, I think uh, the climate could be very stable um, due to the planet, considering how bad Universe Sandbox 2 is at s simulating climate, I think it's actually very stable. Yeah, we'll just reduce this a little more. Alright, and it should stabilize again. If I'm correct. Yeah, it's stabilized now. So now we'll just reduce it a bit more. And it'll be surface temp. So yeah. Also, um, this temperature isn't the best, but what we can do is we can uh, increase the surface pressure so that should increase the temperature a bit more so yeah so be oh man what happened with it with this you stupid moon delete I'm still not sure why you're getting thrown out of the solar system. Uh, I'm worried that if I change the eccentricity back, it'll destabilize the temperature. Now let's take a look at the motion. Alright, I think it was just that rival moon that was 
making it so wild. I mean, they were a uh, similar enough size to be affected pretty badly by that. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good with this one. I'm wondering if we might want to try another one or not. I think that this plan is kind of throwing everything around here. This little thingy of a planet. Mm. A little dust grain. But yeah, this one is looking pretty stable. Not really, no. Let's increase the surface pressure. I think we're going to spend the rest of this episode trying to stabilize. Trying to stabilize the climate of the planet, because this planet does not Plants in Universe Sandbox 2 tend to want to freeze over, you know. Thirteen point five, thirteen point four. So now let's change this up a bit more. Oh no, not again. Yep, temperature is going down again. Curious, what causes this? I don't know, it's rising. Is there some sort of critical balance that we need to hit? Yeah. Maybe if we maybe if we increase the albedo a bit. Zero point zero six. Zero point zero seven. Universe Sandbox Two. Can you just give me give us a wait? I'm curious. Will this stop or will it keep going up? Is it due to the greenhouse effect? Alright, maybe this is some sort of planetary cycle of sorts. Let's hope so. Then I'll we'll be ready to re raise the atmosphere. Temperature. For time period, 20 years. What causes this sort of shifting? What if we increase the time frame a little longer? Mm -hmm. Well, that's not really working. this thingy. Oh, that's a little asteroid, huh? Maybe flung, flung out like that. Alright, so let's look back at our crazy moon here. Have you decided that you want to stay stable or no? No, no, it hasn't. Wonderful. Mm. But yeah, it look, it's looking pretty good overall. I think that, uh, 
I think that it's something that just happens over time. And as if you look, it keeps falling in a sort of cycle. At least I think. I'm not sure when it'll stop. If it'll stop even. Looks kinda like it's slowing down a bit. The drop is. Yeah, the drop is slowing down. I think. Yeah. This is clearly uh, some sort of clim climatic event of some sort. That will always be happening on this planet. So that's interesting. If we uh, time span a hundred years. I bet if we wait long enough we'll see the same data trend. So I think we were pretty successful with this moon. I, I kind of want to slow it down though. It's got a pretty slow time that the that spends looking at the star, so, but it's okay. Hey, uh, let's see. Look at the Earth similarity. Ah, uh, uh, that's cool. That's interesting. So, so the planet. I'm curious if we reduce the amount of water, will that? Add more water, it will increase the life likelihood. But I think next episode we should spend an entire episode trying to make a plant's life likelihood uh, one. And if you agree, I hope you guys do uh, make sure. Also, well, what? Am, I'm tired, and my brain is slow, so can't do my outro right. Anyways, take two. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. And I hope you guys like this idea of doing uh, an index, uh, uh, Earth similarity one, one, and a life likelihood one idea. If you do, comment in the section below and make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Lover to one is signing out.